This is George Glazer, and I'm pleased to present this 10-minute conversation with Zach Patton, recorded in December 2014. Zach is a second-year graduate social work student at the University of Texas at Austin School of Social Work. He had the opportunity to attend a basic workshop in clinical hypnosis sponsored by the American Society of Clinical Hypnosis. Hi, Zach. Thanks for agreeing to do this interview. Let's talk about your recent experiences with the ASH hypnosis training. In doing so, it's my hope that it will be helpful to other graduate students in ways in which clinical hypnosis training can assist in their graduate school work and professional careers. Thanks for giving me the opportunity. I'm curious about what you thought the four days would be like and what kinds of ideas and skills you might learn during that time. Well, I, it's funny because I think I, like most people, came into it with the uh, stereotypes about hypnosis. I was actually that that uh, morning watching a, a movie about magicians where they did a, like a mass hypnosis uh, experience that obviously culminated in a dramatic scene um, but it uh, obviously it was nothing like that it was it was really interesting to see the emphasis of how the kind of the power for for changes in the individual and it's in the the relationship between the uh, the therapist and the client in the hypnotic experience that that kind of allows um, the individual to tap into their own kind of internal resources. And I was excited to learn about that process, I suppose. What was, what was it about uh, hypnosis? In other words, how did you decide that you even wanted to take advantage of the, uh, the offer? Uh, well, for me, I'm, I'm really interested in um, kind of the mind-body oriented therapies and just the um, the connection between the two and how that can um, lead to healthier lifestyles, I suppose. Um, and from my personal interest in, in meditation and mindfulness um, and also attachment-oriented therapies, it just seemed like there were a lot of parallels between that and, uh, and the hypnotic experience. And um, from, I guess for me, what was most interesting was the idea of kind of tapping into more of like right brain processes of of going becoming more deeply attuned with with the body uh, which is something that I think just at a general level uh, on a societal level we we don't get enough direction to do that and so it's a, it was an exciting kind of very um, um, specific format for doing that that was really fascinating to me good were you surprised by what you were learning and experiencing there I guess I would say yes and no. Um, uh, I mean, like I said, most of my um, kind of experiences or most of the ways that I've seen hypnosis is, is more uh, performances or in movies and, and television shows. So it's kind of the uh, entertainment hypnosis. And so that obviously leaves some kind of residual expectations, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, but the kind of the process of it wasn't wasn't surprising because it just I don't know it, it intuitively makes sense to me and that's that's not a very uh, uh, Can you say more about that what do you mean by it, it intuitively makes sense uh, I think it intuitively makes sense to me that uh, a skilled clinician could, kind of guide a person into um, their own understanding of themselves, either for a specific reason like relaxation or kind of more, almost more existential of like understanding that your body has its own natural rhythm and natural processes that you can tap into um, at, a, at a deeper and deeper level, kind of perhaps only restricted by your own um, willingness or curiosity and that, that really draws me both um, as someone that would like to do this work in the future and someone that has, uh, you know, had experiences doing the work uh, as a subject in the workshop itself. Okay. 
After going through the basic program, what ideas do you have about how professional hypnosis training can be helpful to you in your graduate training and, and subsequent career in social work? I think, um, well, at the moment, I'm, I'm interested in, in working with children and working uh, perhaps in a school setting, doing school social work. And um, I, I wish I remembered the, the woman's name that gave the presentation on on Saturday afternoon, but she gave an amazing presentation mm -hmm. about uh, working, uh, doing clinical hypnosis with children. Right, that would be Linda Thompson. Okay, yeah, right. she, it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that really... Um, that really inspired me. Um, if I do go down, if I do go down that path, just because it's it seems like a perfect marriage of kind of using using um, a child or even an adolescent's natural kind of natural abilities for imagination um, and perhaps kind of a more intuitive sense of themselves versus like I think versus adults who might lose that kind of natural sense mm -hmm. of themselves. So kind of harnessing that. Um, as a way of kind of guiding them through through their own experience, or, or that's not quite the right way to put it, but um, I'm really drawn to um, therapies or, or relationships in general that that teach kids about social emotional intelligence, and I think this is a really interesting way of doing that, and on a very um, on a very subtle level. That's an interesting comment. I don't. I agree with you, and I don't think I've ever heard anybody say that before. So, um, so it's, it's it's a very good point. Are are there some ways you're going into um, your um, your internship here pretty soon? Are you not? Yes, I am. And sort of, uh, would, how might how do you think that this experience might be helpful for you in this upcoming? Um, uh, field placement or internship that you're about to move into? Um, well, I'm going to be working at, at Safe Place, the domestic violence shelter in East Austin. And um, I think, gosh, there's a lot of ways that, um, that it could be applied. Um, one way that, that comes up for me is the kind of the draw of having an internal ironically, an internal safe place uh, to kind of draw from and draw on in, in times of stress. Um, and I think that um, hypnosis and, and certain guided imageries could really um, strengthen that process in a really vulnerable time for, uh, for these women and children. Mm -hmm. um, I think also kind of extending beyond that, um, Kind of allowing maybe maybe through um, through hypnosis, kind of guiding these individuals back into their their bodies a little bit more, mm -hmm. and and kind of the same way of maybe creating like a an imagery of a of a safe space, kind of bringing that combining that imagery with physical presence and having having them um, kind of become their own their own like sense of security, at least as a find their resources and, right. and so on. Interesting. Well, Zach, I appreciate um, you talking with me today about this. Is there any other any other points you wanted to finish up with? Any anything else about about the experience of going through the basic training that that will go with you? Well, again, thank you for the opportunity. It was fantastic and a really great learning experience. Mm -hmm. um, I think I think for me I was just really impressed by the I guess both the breadth and the scope of it in, in terms of like how many different the, lots of small pieces being addressed like the the precision of the language that that surrounds um, um, the hypnotic experience and, mm -hmm. and leading someone through hypnosis is like something that sounds so natural but it's is very um, calculated and precise in a, in a way that's really powerful. And also I appreciated being able to um, look at it from the scientific perspective of looking at the nervous system and how, um, and how hypnosis kind of interacts with the uh, parasympathetic, parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system. Um, that's something that I've been learning about in um, 
in my interest areas with neurobiology and and the uh, therapeutic relationship and it's just fascinating mm -hmm. to see all the parallels well great I, I, I thank you so much uh, for coming and talking with us talking with me and uh, I'm glad you had the opportunity to go to the, the training yeah, thank you thank you so much